Welcome back to Pops and Pines. Let's play some more Yippee Peppers for Spilonia, of course. We're still going for the first come first serve achievement. We have to take all of the Americas, yes, all of it, um, as a Western Technology Custom Nation with uh, 200 less points, yes. Um, we are that. Uh, <laughs> we're a bit bigger now. We started with 200 less points, 200 or less. So that's cool. We ate a bunch of people around us. We ate the um, Portuguese Laplatans and we attacked the English. Well, technically we attacked the these people here. Um, Chaktama, Chacharua, Chacharua. Um, but they were allied to the English, so we took Bermuda, which would be hard to get otherwise because um, that does not uh, get included in the colonial nation. So we actually have to fight the English. I hope that's the only time we have to fight the English. If we have to go again, then I don't know, maybe land in mainland Britain and just have fun. We'll see. Ooh, look at this. The Spanish fought the Ottomans, lost, and stuff was fed to Morocco, which is fun. And now the Ottomans are just eating all of the Mamluks, which, I mean, definitely something people would want to do. That's a lot of claims you have there. Yeah, the Ottomans are powerful, uh, but still not really high on the on the list. I mean, institution is part of it, but still they're just less developed than the Spanish, the British, um, the Mingish, and me, of course. And I... Yes, let's unpause. Let's remove this uh, propagate religion thing, because it annoys me, and not make any states. I say let's unpause, and then I don't unpause. That's how I trick you guys into staying around. Is it? Probably isn't. <clears throat> Build some more money buildings here. And. Manhattan. Do I care about trade power in Manhattan? Not really. Not at the moment. At some point I might. I mean, if I ever do move my trade capital to Chesapeake Bay or the Gulf of St. Lawrence, I do care. Until then, not so much. Yeah, let's just build it. And then mini factories? No, these are terrible. I mean, some of them are okay, but not good. Not good indeed. Rebels, I think we have Pylonian Particularists, which are particularly annoying because they cost a million to harshly treat, right? Yeah. So we're just gonna have to murder them once they come out. Um, they are in nowhere? Eh, essentially nowhere. All right, maybe they go away. That's an option. Um, I was capping on that mill. We're still pretty far ahead of time, yep. Very much so. I could spend about that, seems like a waste, right? Strength of government for two absolutism. It's a lot of middle for two absolutism and essentially no other gain. Yeah, I don't think that's what we're gonna do. I think we're just gonna do some development. Everybody's most favorite pastime. Ba -ba, like in Nanti Jotes. Nachi Dodges. Considering how small and irrelevant that place is, I spend a lot of time mispronouncing it. Uh, oh, you're not. No, you have to be, yeah. Louisiana have a development edict and then some mill. There you go. So we still want to attack the Floridians. Floridians? Floridas? The Floridas? Um, but I kind of want them to colonize this stuff first. And they're already running two colonies here, so they're both. It's actually a colony running two, that's pretty cool. It's not the actual Spanish helping out, but it's just uh, Florida doing two, two colonies at the same time. It's nice. Um, so they should have this filled out in not too long, and then we can eat them. Spanish Canada is probably... Ooh, Merchant Fractures. I'm not gonna do that. Yeah, let's take that mercantilism. Yoink. And kill those people, that's gonna be funny. And the Spanish Canadians have essentially all the room in the world um, to grow. So we're going to leave them some time. Same goes for Newfoundland and British Louisiana, I think. Um, no point in taking their land away now. Um, Malacca cancelled, military access, that is fine. 
except and the guys in Kadoada down they they are oh goody now about those Portuguese oh is there maybe a border here I feel like there's a sea border to the Galapagos Islands if that's true we can fabricate a claim and declare one the Portuguese um, that would be good military guy give me a level three guy Simon Cruz now, this should be a sea border. Can I even click this thing? Um, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we can't use the um, Holy Walkers Valley here because um, it's not an actual neighborhood. But it's going to be enough to fabricate a claim. And that in turn should be enough to declare war on them. Now, I think they're allied to like the Spaniards or something, um, so it's not going to be the most trivial of all wars, but it should be fine. The main annoying part of calling in the Spaniards is that all the colonial nations will come in. Not that they're powerful, but there's so many. I have to deal with them. With them all and their weird forays into my territory. Um, I don't really care about aggressive expansion impact, honestly. Who's gonna coalesce me? I know it's coalition. Is it two coalition? What's what's the verb for coalitioning? If you know, tell me in the comment section. Ooh, this is not good. Do we not get military access, or are you just um, naval? I bought it from Soyo, right? I did. Yeah, easy reach of supply ships. Maybe these are just coming up down here from the north. Is that what's happening? I hope. So, because I don't like the idea of losing my boats. Um, I also don't like the idea of going through this list again, but hey. It is what I chose. It's a misfortune of my own making, so... I'm not going to openly complain too much. Maybe I have, actually. <laughs> I've been complaining a bunch about this, right? Um, but there's always more complaining that could be done that I'm not doing, so be glad. Whew, that's an expensive place to convert. Where's it gone, anyway? Catalan place, right? Guajira. Yeah, look at this, we have minus 50, 70... Like minus seventy two point six percent cost, and it still costs a hundred. This must be a very high developed place. Where is Guajira? I mean, I'm gonna do this, but I want to know what it is. Guajira. Oh, it's a place we developed, I think. Uh, yeah. That's the thing with doing the development before we. Oh, but we're running out of bordering. Almost running out of red things here. That's pretty cool. Um, that said, can we only culture convert in stuff that's in our states? Oh, it doesn't seem so. It seems like we're culture converting everything, right? Looks pretty good. Lots of sweets around. I like it. Well, what about all this Portuguese? Oh, we have accepted Portuguese, that's why. Um, yeah, at some point we're gonna have to start converting the other ones too. Okay, either our fleet sank or it's no longer out of supply reach. It's no longer out of supply reach. Good. May have to repair those boats at some point. And then we had some natives. Yeah, but they're in five place. Also heretics. Need more of those. Get them gone. More heretics. And what else? Rain. Just get rid of heretics. Okay, once we hit 20 spy network, um, we can... Ooh. Holy War of Great Britain against VJ. It's gonna be the end of VJ, I suppose. I know you have a lot of powerful friends, which I don't think you do, do you? <laughs> ah, it's close. Uh, I just lost the Sami piece, uh, Sami alliance, apparently. Because they didn't honor the call. And then there's only Kutch. So yeah, VJ is gone, or at least munched into. And they still haven't dealt with Golconda, I don't understand. 
Certainly the truth is over by now. Hmm. Odd. Wait, you're back to being attrition? Oh, do I have a range issue? Oh, Luango is not far enough away. I see. I mean, it's too far away, so we should get it back from Katsina. Do that stat. Um, also fleet basing rights. I'm gonna assume that that helps. It helps, but it doesn't deal with the problem. We need to be watchful here. Yeah, we almost... Do we already lose ships? No. But we're about to. I don't like this at all. Uh, Mali, can I have fleet basing rights? It's not because I want to keep them. I want to save my boats right now. Not have a monthly tick with attrition. So I have to... Hmm. Okay, so the go coast of Gambia is a problem when we do Katsina. now. I can drop Soyo. Well, I could if I had a guy. Huh. Yeah, the Ivory Coast is a long, long node. That's a bit of an issue. I'm mean, fine down here right now to Soyo. See what happens if I drop Soyo. Oh, capped. All in the admins. Um, no. So. Where we go? And not each. Sure. That's some admin. Mm, two days. I'm gonna call back the guy from Soyo. See what that does to our reach. Okay, the reach down here is fine. From Katsina. It's just that. There seems to be a giant. Wait. No, this is fine. Oh, it's because of Gabu. Hmm. How much are we paying for the Mali fleet basing rights? Do I have to care or can I just have this? Wait, zero hover fees? Oh. Where are the ones I'm paying? Um, pretty sure there's a place I can see that. I'm not just blind. I'm not getting any hour fees, I get that. It's not under income, but... Diplomatic expenses, there we go. That's 1.5 ducats for harbor fees in Gaira, Mali, and Katsina. It's fine. We're making way more money out of the trade. Well, we would if we had the boats actually active. I think repairing them a bit is fine. Just in case something happens to the harbor fees again. That would be, would be unfortunate. Um, like the Katsina um, province getting siege down or something. We've seen that before. That would be sad. Truce to Great Britain has ended. Can humiliate a rival. I guess. We're still ahead of time, right? Yeah, very much so. So we could attack Sharua again. Are you still... No. No longer protecting for anybody. Also not... Um, you know. I'm not in danger of being eaten by anybody. So I don't need to attack them right now. Argentine. Oh, that's the British land down here. Good, 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 good. Can actually colonize this for me. Sweet. I mean, I assume they can colonize that. I don't actually know how that works if you're desperate land and have no water access. But I assume if it's next to a core of yours, you can colonize it. Okay, that base tax. I feel happy about this now. Let's give it one more tick. There we go. Let's go back to making money. Right? I mean, I could uh, protect trade in the Ivory Coast. And repair damage. And they should join back in once, um, once they're repaired. Um, I assume that's how that's going to work. Da -da -da, go back to the thing. I think we might be at the point where we start converting green things. UK 
can be converted. Yeah. It can be converted. Um, no. 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 Yes. Maybe not quite at the point of converting green things, but very, very close. Which is fine. At some point we're going to lose a accepted culture. And if we were to just play optimally here, um, we wouldn't convert the green things at all. Because they're already accepted, there's no point in converting them. But uh, we have a plan, right? We want to turn the whole world Swedish, well, the whole American world. Which is essentially the, the whole world. Um, let's make sure that this is the only place we can fabricate on. Because if not, I might want to fabricate more. It is not at all. Oh, but that's because the rest is, I assume, Portuguese subject land, right? Comoros, Galapagos. Wait, these are the Galapagos, okay. Cabo Verde. Why can I even fabricate there? Huh. Why is this a thing? I don't have a province over here, do I? Did Martian does. <laughs> I mean, I don't hate it. Can I just click these? No, of course not. Um, Comoros. Why can't I fabricate on you? What? What's going on, guys? What do I have that's allowing me to do that? And there <laughs> Just all the Portuguese stuff. This seems wrong. Seems very, very wrong. I think the only one we care about is the Galapagos Islands, but I am very confused. Really, if you do know what's happening here, please do tell me in the comment section. I don't know what would give me the right to do that. Oh, maybe I do. Maybe I do, because... Finisher of the expansion I did with? Yeah, can fabricate claims in overseas trade company regions. <laughs> so it doesn't actually help us for any of the American stuff. So we still can't do Falklands, but we can do all the things way away. It's dumb, but it works. <laughs> Let's come home. Don't need more claims. The only one I would want is the Falklands, and we can't get that. Right, there's no other Portuguese stuff around here, no. Not real Portuguese, just full Portuguese. No, you're allied to the Spaniards and the Popal States. The nice thing about having an actual claim is that that's going to be the war goal. Uh, so we can get ticking war score very easily by just take the Galapagos Islands. And then we don't have to deal with the, with the mainland Portuguese, hopefully. And I mean, we're out navying them pretty hard, I think. Uh, I don't know how the Spanish Navy looks compared to ours. Um, so for heavy ships, they're not even on the map. <laughs> Three? Three heavies? Oh my! Seven on the Portuguese side, yeah, we don't have to worry. I mean, they're going to be annoying because we have a lot of coast to cover, but they can't possibly beat our fleet. To watch out for our trade fleet a bit. I guess. Um, then again, three heavies probably don't even beat our trade fleet. Maybe I should have upgraded our trade fleet while they were in port. I don't know. So we have two guys down here that can just easily take the Falklands and the this place. So we do go to war. Assuming we have um, naval protection. And then what else do we have to fight? We're gonna have to fight the Californians potentially. So we'll need an army there, and then the Portigarans kind of need two armies to contain them, which we have. So you guys get over to California. It's not, it's not that far. Stop whining of me making you walk, <laughs> about me making you walk. Um, what else is in this fleet anyway? War galleons, more war galleons, okay. Do I not want to, oh, I meant to hunt down pirates, but then I didn't find any pirates. I remember. Do we know about pirates now? 
So in theory, you can see the pirates in here, so you don't need to hover here. But if it's a very tiny percentage, then it's really tough to actually see them. So I prefer hovering here. And this number, the 0%, only changes if you have actual guns um, hunting the pirates. Still far out of time. Yep. Uh, so get rid of more mana. Um, how about Tarjira? I'm just gonna pluck it in there. Yeah, I could turn on developing unique, but it's such a tiny gain right now. And so much clicking. Gain the returners, lose prestige, gain some local unrest. So, nope, 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 nope. Don't dissect the bodies. Just be innovativeness. Be innovativeness, yes. Just be it. Um, so we need these guys to merge up so they can make use of the thing. Um, two zero zero. Oh, zero zero. Oh, gee. Okay, so I'm going to take the status. Oh, am I? We are um, pretty status. So even if I take them, um, the, the king here, we're still gonna stay statist and have an ele another election in four years or whatever that is. It's four years, right? Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna take the monarchist just to go back to zero, and they're both equally horrible. Let's take the monarchist, get closer, <clears throat> get closer to zero, and live with four years of really, really bad. Monarchs. <laughs> Even the positive trade, they just got a reduction of war exhaustion cost. It's irrelevant. Super irrelevant. Wow, actually, what are you doing? I need to port for repairs? What? What? You were repairing and now you're going over the ocean, taking damage to repair? Um, I want to go towards legalism, of course. This is fudged up. Why would you do this? Why would you not take my fleet basing port? I'm confused. Um, Florida is still doing their thing. Uh, caught country in the Mamluks. We don't get caught in country because we have three stability. And I don't feel like actually going for it um, on purpose. If I were to declare war on you, the Spanish wouldn't even join, no. So we should just do this. Just get it done, right? Gives us a truce against the Portuguese colonials. But we want them to spread more anyway. So that's fine, I think. Get our fleet somewhere to the south. I think I just declare. Um, yeah, we don't have a fleet ar around right now. It's gonna be there soon. Let's just make use of our war while we can. Uh, hey, Portuguese, I want that legalism. Also, I'm gonna fight the paper state because why not? I'm gonna take the Galapagos Islands and the. Um, the Falklands. I think that's all we're gonna do. Sit you over there as well, just to catch any stray Portuguese. Don't know that we actually have to go for Portigara. How much do I risk here? It's fine. It's just transports and two troops. And we're still colonizing here, so removing the two troops is kind of risky. Should probably not be actually doing that. But... I don't think the guys down here are very ferocious, are they? Oh, there are no natives left. <laughs> oh, there have never been any here. So I didn't even need that army there. Cool. Um, you're going for the fort. And this seems all fine. Wongo is to take the um, Galapagos Islands. Wait, what? I had six lights. Oh, and such George Chapel. Yeah. Um... We were already set to go home and war. And we didn't lose any boats. Not to those transports, so that's fine. Why you guys are doing this, I'm 
They're probably gonna turn back now because they took damage and then they're gonna be, hey, I'm, I should be repairing. But no, the repairing did finish. So that's probably fine. Um, what are these three boats? What are you? Three frigates? Oh, they must be left over from the building spree I had earlier. Hello. I'm just here in your capitals, taking your forts. Um, you are in place. So just land two guys there. No! Um, I think we want to take this in the war. Yeah, it's a colony and we're going to have to pay for it. But we can't have the Portuguese having a colony here. It's not going to turn into a colonial nation because they won't have enough land for it. And VJ. Oh, VJ is still big. And they're not being sieged on by the British yet. Maybe the British are just bad at getting troops over there. That's actually quite possible. Let's spend a bit of admin, but not a lot because um, we're not making any right now. Well, not any is wrong, but not a lot. So it would be nice to not go lower on admin than I need to. So we can spend all of it on the tech. And then we're gonna have an idea group afterwards. I don't still don't know what I'm gonna take. We have a bit of time for that, so if you do have an idea, that's the comment section right there that you could tell me in. Um I know there isn't much super powerful stuff left over. We could go for another military one just because we don't care much about all the others. Then again, we don't care much about the military ones either, so... Um, I don't think this is super relevant either way. Um, maybe there's something nice we can do. I checked policies a lot. There wasn't really much we can do with policies out of military stuff. And again, I feel so powerful militarily already that we don't necessarily need to do that at all. All right, we've converted all the red things that are neighboring stuff. So I'm just gonna start converting some Portuguese land here. Which should essentially all be neighboring. Good cultured land. Well cultured. Madre de Diaz. There we go. So do we need to deal with Potigara at some point? I apparently have war galleons here. Why are there... Oh, well, that's Potigara. Potigara didn't even join. Oh, are you not... Oh, you're no longer a colonial. Oh. Oh. Maybe you never were... Well, you were, but maybe last time you already were. So I should have taken Potigara in land when we fought the Brits. Because now... Um, we might actually have to fight the Brits again. Because Alliance is... Oh, hello. Uh did he do the thing again? I feel like he did the thing again. Please don't die. Assuming that these are heavies. Yep. Send my heavies over to Africa. Um, you're going to the South Equatorial Current. When I'm locked in, fudge. Well, fudge. Um, I don't want to grab one that way. Can we grab a, an admiral from the merchants? No. Um, not before 70. Oh, September. Oh, so close. Do I spend 50 dip on an admiral? I think I do. I don't want to lose all my boats. Not a great admiral. But an admiral nonetheless. So we should be outflanking them. Pretty sure, right? Um, no, they, well, they have a common width of more than we do, but I don't know if they're actually filling it. Well, apparently they are. I mean, seven heavies go a long way. Seven heavies are already 21 common width. So I guess that makes sense. Where are you going? You're going to Hualapai, which is mountains. I don't want to fight you in the mountains. Mm, this is fine. This is probably already done, yeah, so we should, no. Get over Get in there. Come on, boats. Get in there. Attach. And then grab me the wall goal. <clears throat> Which is way up here. Playing EU does so much for your um, geographical knowledge. Uh, so we lost five lights. They only lost two. But we won and they're going home. 
tail between their legs, so that's fine. And then you guys can go back to Protectorate in... Yeah, Rikos. And then maybe I sent you guys north. You guys north. Um... Oh, well, you can be here. Just uh, box them in. They won't be able to leave now. And that's all the fleet that matters. <clears throat> the Spanish aren't even in the war. And the Spanish don't really matter. So... They only have three heavies. So I'm not afraid. Does it mean I can send my guys back to privateering, though? Um, no, there's still some... Papal heavies around... Which I don't want to send my six guys into. I think it's unlikely that the Pope's gonna be in the North Sea, but you never know. So we could grant... Oh, I miss these guys, though. Right, let's try to chase them down a bit. It's not gonna work. I assume. But that's kind of fine. Just need to keep them on their toes so they don't annoy me too much. You guys almost at the Galapagos Islands. Nice, nice, nice. Um, but we're also at the end of this episode. So we're going to have to take the Galapagos Islands next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, as always, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. <laughs> If you're not subscribed yet, and as always, um, do talk to me in that lovely little comment section. It's just such a treat um, to be able to do that. So, well, to be able to, for me to talk to you guys there. I mean, you guys being able to comment my videos is also a pretty, pretty big treat. You should try it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.